titled Basin and also known as the Baptistery de St. Louis or St. Louis. It is made by Muhammad Ibn al-Zain, who um, is the metallurgist artist, and it was created in 1320 to 1340. It's brass, and it's been inlaid with gold and silver. The picture here gives you just a great view of it. You can see all this detail. I'm going to start with function first. Um, so it's believed that it was commissioned by some wealthy Mamluk. That's someone who lives in Egypt. And it would have been used as a ceremonial washing of the hands um, or as a banquet piece. The other function of it is that it was used to baptize members of the French royal family. There's record of it from September 4, 1606, that it was used to baptize King Louis the 13th. Although it is named the Baptistery de Saint Louis, it actually was never used to baptize him. He died before this was even made. So the context of this, you can see here all of these, uh, this, these are bizarre shops that have metal and metal craftsmanship in the Middle East was quite popular, still is today. More context is that in Egypt, Egypt was ruled by a group of people called the Mamluks. And the Mamluks were these mercenary soldiers that were hired from kind of around the Middle East, mostly the Turkey area and Eastern Europe. And they just got real powerful in Egypt and they took over and they fought Europeans in the crusade. They stopped the Mongols. They're just these serious warrior empire. And um, they ruled Egypt for 200 years, 250 years. Here's their empire. It spread up here to into Syria and down the Red Sea. More context is before this basin was made, there were crusades where the French would come over here to the Middle East, do all this fighting. You can see they went over here into Egypt at one point. And um, so there's interaction between the French and these Mamluks. But uh, this basin was made after this interaction, it's believed. And so here... These are some issues around this piece. Was it made for someone in France? Question mark. I mean, it got to France. Who, how did that happen? Um, who are the people that are featured on the basin? Are they Mongols? Um, there's one historian that believes that it shows a Mongol and Mamluk interaction surrounding the circumcision of a Mongol, young Mongol boy. Uh, some say that this is about the Mamluks and their special equestrian uh, regiments. So the big deal, how did it get from Egypt to France? There's a lot of mystery surrounding this piece. It's probably one of the most studied pieces of um, Middle Eastern art. It is in the Louvre in France. And so big question, how did it get there? Okay, form. It's nine inches high by 20 inches wide. So this would like take up most of your desk at school. It is made of expensive materials, brass, and then inlaid with all of the silver and gold. Um, this should say form rather than content. Uh, around the middle of the outside is the, the biggest frieze, and it shows a procession of 20 men. Let's say they're likely Mamluk officials, and they're each having their their clothing represents their position in, in an identity in the military. Um, and then interrupting the procession of these 20 men are four roundels that have 
people on horseback, men on horseback. And you can see this guy on horseback. He's like he's hunting. He's killing this um, animal down here. Don't quite know what that animal is. Um, then on the inside, at the bottom of the basin, there's all these sea creatures. But can you see all the silver ones sticking out? Those are eels. Pretty amazing. And then again on the inside, there's a little band that runs along the inside. And you can look here. This is like a camel, antelope, ibex maybe. So pretty dense with um, animals and humans. And then, it, then on the inside, there's a big band going around the top of the inside. And that big band has got this ruler. Do you see the ruler is sitting on, sitting down and holding some sort of cup in his hand. But then you see here another person on horseback fighting. There's a quiver of arrows and he's got a, a spear in his hand, but look at down below. There's a, a decapitated head here. There's a hand here. So it's very intense fighting going on. More form. This is on the on the outside, the big freeze with the 20 people walking. You see one person here who's walking. There's his hands, and he's got um, kind of somehow holding on to a... Um, a leopard. Do you see the spots on the leopard? And then here's another person in the procession. They have a, a cup. So they're doing these different activities in the procession that mark kind of what they are, who they are. And then um, interestingly, there is this piece. Do you see this fleur de lis? And maybe you remember a fleur de lis right here. It's on Louis the Ninth's staff. So this is from the, the piece, the um, Blanche of Castile and Louis the Ninth page. And then more form. Um, this piece has been signed six times by the art artist, Muhammad Ibn al Zain. And then here's another band going across on the outside above the big frieze. And you can see here there's a leopard, there's an elephant, and there's a unicorn. And here across the bottom, there is, um, don't know what that animal is, but there's a, a like a cheetah, leopard, tiger, and then here's a camel. So the content here, this really is the most incredible piece of like Islamic metalworking that we've seen. And it's got all these interconnected figures and they're organic, they're animal, they're human. Um, there's vegetable designs. And this should remind you of the Pyxis of Almagira that has the same thing going on. Animals, vegetables, humans uh, on horseback. And then um, because we know the, these, ha we have these humans taking action, we know that this is a secular piece, right? It's not a religious piece. This is used for uh, perfumes, the Pyxis of Almagira, and this is used as a basin to wash hands, to serve at a banquet, or to baptize um, tiny babies. Okay, done by the artist Muhammad Ibn al Zayn in 1320 to 1340. It's brass inlaid with gold and silver. It's called the Basin, and in France, it's called the Baptistery de Saint Louis.